Okay. but right here.
be fair and a gambler, I get drunk every night, course of quarter, I must pay three times a day for my board. Morning in a law fair in this town can afford. Big legs to spend to keep it cool while I sleep. Little baby girl play a drown at his feet. I'm a rambling gambler, but I'll stay now what right. Stay now I'm ragged, but right. I'd ride a freight train most anywhere. If it ain't a lose, I don't have no blues. But I tell now I'm ragged, but fair. Got me at the boys, I'm ragged, but right. Be fan a gambler, I get drunk every night. Of course, it's water, I must pay three times a day for my boat. Morning, it'll offer, and just I can afford. Big legs to spend to keep it cool while I sleep. Little baby girl play around at his feet. I'm a rambling gam, but I say what's right. Say now I'm ragged, but right. Let's do Arkansas Traveler. Okay. Go ahead, you start.
Israel. What you gonna do next, Kilby? Well, the next, uh, next number's going to be the wind and rain. That does an old number that I picked up from a great grandfather down in North Carolina, which was Cherokee Indian. And I've always liked the number ever since, so I put it together here a few years ago and went play it for you. Summer day, I cry in a dreadful wind and rain. He said to the maiden, would you marry me? Oh, the wind and rain. Then my little wife, you'll always be a cry in a dreadful wind and rain. She said, oh, no, that'll never do. Oh, the wind and rain. I love you, but I can't marry you. I cry in a dreadful wind and rain. Then he knocked her down and he kicked her around. Oh, the wind and rain. Hit her in the head with a battering ram. I cry in a dreadful wind and rain. to drown all oh, the wind and rain watch your ass get floated down a cry in a dreadful wind and rain she floated on down to the mills mill pond all oh, the wind and rain floated on down to the mills mill pond a cry in a dreadful wind and rain The mill fished out with a long fishing line. All oh, the wind and rain. Mill fished out with a long fishing line. The cry and the dreadful wind and rain. And made fiddle pads of a little finger bone. All oh, the wind and rain. Made fiddle pads of a little finger bone. The cry and the dreadful wind and rain. Then he made a fiddle bow of a long curly hair. Oh, the wind and rain. Made a fiddle bow of a long curly hair. Crying a dreadful wind and rain. Now the only tune that fiddle would play was all oh, the wind and rain. Only tune that fiddle would play was crying a dreadful wind and rain. It's a beautiful old tune. I wonder if you could do one of the more modern tunes to come out of the 30s, uh, Kilby, just with the auto harp, that greenback dollar. Oh, yes, that would be easy done here. Greenback dollar, okay.
I think perhaps the folks would be interested in, in how you started to play the auto harp and how you developed this very unusual way you have of, of uh, playing. Well, yes. I suppose it would that I... You know, when I started off, I was very young, only four years old, and couldn't hold a harp up when I couldn't. So I laid it down on the floor, but I'll not lay this one down. I'll just hold it up here, you can it just like this. Now, first started off, first tune I ever learned in my life was Old Molly Hair. I commenced playing. I got a little better. And I got a little better than that. And here's the way I play it now. Now, is this a, a standard auto harp that you have here? This is a standard harp, all except you notice I've, got, I've changed a few strings here on the bottom bass. I have 14 bass here for a standard harp only has, I believe it's nine in it. I, mean, some, I, I don't know. You have it tuned differently than a regular auto harp down there, don't you? From here down, from the C chord down. Mm hmm. I do have. And, uh,. Let's see, did you add a bass string there? I did. I added one bass string. Mm -hmm. Well, basically, that's the same, that's a Montgomery Ward auto harp, isn't it, though? Yeah, that's a Montgomery Ward the, harp. The commercial. Uh, but with that, you've added one string and retuned some of the others, and I guess you had to recut the bars, too, didn't you? Yes, I did. Uh, let's just say it's just a standard harp. Any harp could be, you could have the same chords that this has got. Uh, oh, except I've got G chord over here on these three, and I've got C chord here, and I've got F chord back here. Then I start over here, I've got E chord, and I've got A chord, and then I've got D chord. I've got six major chords. There isn't any minors on this harp at all. Mm-hmm. I see. All major chords. Now, you showed me once um, how it would be good for beginners to learn how to play the, the auto harp uh, the way that you do, by kind of sliding up to the string that well, you want? Well, naturally, if you want to get a good sound, you must come from the bass up towards the fine strings. And having your harp in tune is one of the most important things at the start. Yeah. Then learning where to stop to get your tune to come out right. Uh, Let's say what a friend we're having Jesus here, and we're going to run up here just flow like that. You got to find where to stop. That was dragging, just using one finger, a dragging upwards on the strings. And 
Now we're going to play that just a little bit using both thumbs and uh, thumb and one finger. I didn't have two thumbs on that one hand, though. <laughs> so I'm just going to play here with my thumb and finger on that one tune. Now, the, the thing that you've got that's most unusual, uh, as far as I, uh, you know, see, can see, is the fact that you play left-handed and can drag up and get those drag notes. Could you show the folks what the drag note is that, that you get that makes that sound? Well, that's right. I have one little advantage on, uh, on right-handed people because uh, right-handed persons has got to do the same with their thumb that I do with my finger, and your thumb's not hard as quick as your finger is. So you have to, in getting a drag note, you've got to pick part of these bars up, open bars, and part down like in there. Uh, that there is where I originated the drag note from is from uh, open bar and picking the string and then noting the bar before you get to the next thing. Liking the Latin. And then occasionally I see that you go, I, well, I, it seems to me that you're going back with your finger too. You're getting the... Uh, well, back, uh, back down also with it. Well, I've got to get back down there, but maybe the pick might touch just a little once in a while. It looks like it's more in there. <laughs> I don't make no habit of making a sound with that <coughs> pick going back down. It's called I catch that of my thumb. It looks like you made those picks yourself. Yes, I made those picks. <coughs> What well, if you could hold them up so that the camera you could see real close? You can't buy a pick of this sort. Uh, they must be made. I, I've got some here in my pocket someplace. If I can find one to show a better on, on the camera. Well, maybe I ain't, maybe I throw it away. But this pick's got to be bent, if you notice, on a hook and twisted. Can you get that good, clo good and close there? Yeah, I guess you can. Because these strings, your hand's sitting on a degree angle here, and the peak has got to go between the strings straight, straight the string between the strings, uh, in order to get the drag upward. Uh, otherwise, the straight peak will slip off, and it won't work right. Now, what uh, tip would you have to people who want to learn to play the auto harp in a style like yours? What would be the best thing to do to start <coughs> off with, aside from getting an auto harp? Well, you've got to learn the chord before you learn to play, before you learn to play the notes. Mm -hmm. And by using your thumb and come up on the harp till you get to the place where you want the sound, like I was a while ago, to you find the strings you want. You can very easily pick up the chord and go to a chord and a tune, mm -hmm. to where you can sing along with it. And then the first thing you know, your finger is working and you're picking that tune. That will automatically start in there after you get to picking and get interested in the music. Of course, you have to hear what you want to you have to get it in your mind, too. I You've got to get the tune in your mind. You've got to get the sound in your mind that you want this harp to make. 
because if it's not in your mind, the, the harp's not going to make it. Uh, because you're making the harp make what sounds you want it to make. I wonder if you could do one of the more modern country songs that you do. Um, how about uh, that Merle Haggard song, uh, uh, All My Friends Are Gonna Be Strangers? <coughs> okay, we are. From now on, all my friends are going to be strangers. I'm all through ever trust anyone. Only thing I can count on now is a finger. I was a fool believing in you, and now you are gone. All the love you said could be mine forever. I would have bet my bottom dollar on. But it's your turn now to be a short forever. Just want to turn my back and now you are gone. From now on, all my friends are going to be strangers. I'm all through ever trusting anyone. Only thing I can count on now is my finger. Was a fool believing in you and now you are gone. Taken out and starred and feathered By let myself be taken in by you From now on, all my friends are going to be strangers I'm all through ever trusting anyone Only thing I can count on now is a finger Was a fool believing in you and now you are gone There's a beautiful religious uh, tune that you do, I Will Arise. I wonder if you could pick that. Maybe you can remember a chorus of it. <coughs> well, I can pick it for you, Mike, but I don't know where I'd remember much of it or not. I Will Arise. That was uh, an old-time tune I got out of a book I never have found, but one book had it in there since I become any size. Daddy used to sing it when I was small, oh, five or six years old. Long time I learned to pick the older harp. So here goes I Will Arise.
We have just a little bit of time left, and for the last night, you played for the first time that down in the Yankety Yank, and I, it's just a little bit of foolishness, but I wonder if you'd take us out on that. Oh, that little thing, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that is... That's what I got off one of my cousin down North Carolina. He used to run a little old show, and he's... Oh... Full of stuff like that. Yankety Yank. And he ain't the yank and the bullfrog jump from bank to bank and the cannonball come by my head and thought to my soul it'd kill me dead. I don't like the cannonball. Well, I went down to my feet, feeling back, back me on the heel and turned around to do my best to throw. Hell could slap in a hornet's nest. I don't like the hornet's nest. Be fast, see if Mom would hit it, hat. She had hatched a little one, taking off the tambourine.